Hello everyone. In this video, I'll be talking about consolidating multiple sheets, whatever the number of sheets, into one single summary sheet. If the setup on each one of these sheets is exactly the same across the multiple sheets, then I could use a formula, an addition, adding across multiple sheets. I could use a function like the sum function to do that. But the situation we have is much more complex. So in this worksheet, I have in column A a list of products. I have like six products in this worksheet. Then I have the number of sales for each quarter for each product. Quarter 1, 2, 3, 4. If I have the same setup in all the sheets, for the east, the west, the south, the north, having the same number of products, the same order of products, the same order of quarters, in the same exact location in the worksheet, then the situation would be a lot more simple. But let's look at the next worksheet. If I click on West, then I have a different number of products. Some of them are common with the previous worksheet. Some of them are not in the previous worksheet. The order of products is totally different than the previous one. Let's explore the next worksheet. So in the South, the problem is even bigger because I have different products. Some of them are common with the other worksheets, but the location in the worksheet is different. This one starts at A4 and the number of products is also different. The situation is even more complicated in the North worksheet because it's on a completely different location in the worksheet different products, different orders, and even the quarters are not in the same exact order. Because if you look at the quarters here, this region is starting at quarter four and then quarter one, two, and three. Formulas will be totally useless in this situation because a formula looks at the number and it will keep adding up numbers regardless of the name of the product. Functions, are also helpless in a situation like that. So what can I do? I'm going to use one of the powerful built-in tools in Excel, the consolidation tool. But I'm going to use it in a very special way because I have different products, different orders, different locations, and even a different number of products on the different worksheets. So I go to the summary worksheet where I want to create my consolidated report. I'm selecting cell A1, and this will be the upper left corner of my consolidated values. And then I go to the data tab of the ribbon, and to the right side of the data tab, I click on consolidate. This dialog box opens. I have a wealth of options in this dialog box because I'm not simply limited to the sum function. I can consolidate multiple ranges by summing the values or counting them or getting the average, the max, the min. We have 11 functions in this drop list. I'll keep the sum selected. And now I need to provide the ranges. So I put my blinking cursor in the reference box. And then I go to the first worksheet, East. And what I need to do here is to select the range that will be consolidated. So I start from A1, click and drag, and note that I'm selecting the column headers and the row headers as well. I want to move my selection to the lower box, the All Reference, so I click on Add. Then I go and grab the next range. So I want to click on the next worksheet. I'll find a surprise when I click on West. Now look at this. I have the same previous range selected because Excel assumes when I use this tool that I'll be consolidating ranges of the same size and the same location on each worksheet. Not a problem. I can click and drag and select the correct range and then hit Add. I'll be doing the same in the next worksheet. I click on Sum, and here the previous range is highlighted. That's not the correct one. I'll be selecting the correct range and then I hit Add. I still have one more to select. So I click on the North worksheet and here Excel is totally confused as you see. So I want to guide Excel by selecting the correct range. I click and drag, and then I want to move it to the All References, so I click Add. 
the most important thing to do is to check this box and the left column box. What does it mean? I'm going to explain right now, but let's check the box top row and let's check the box left column and let's check the box that creates a link to the source values in case they change and let's check this box create links so whenever the source values change then the result in my report will be updated as well i check this box look at the magic whenever i hit ok excel was able to consolidate the ranges although i had different products different locations different orders different quarters but excel was able to put everything in the right place i want to check so let's look at the camcorders for quarter one so i'm going to click on east here i have 65 and then i click on west well it looks here i have 39 so i had 65 and 39 let's go to south i don't have any and let's go here i don't have any i'm going to type the number 65 and 39 to check so if i type 65 and then i type 39 now if i select these two values I look at the status bar, the sum is 104, then my result is correct. How did Excel recognize the product and the quarter? Although I have different orders, different products, different locations on each worksheet, what's the concept of this tool? This tool behaves in a special way. Unlike formulas and functions that just look at the number, regardless of the product name or the quarter, this tool for each number in the source sheets, it looks at the column header and then it looks at the row header and compares them. Whenever it finds the same exact combination, then it grabs that number. And it keeps doing this for each single number across the different sheets. And that's why the result is correct regardless of the order, regardless of the number of products and regardless of the location. But hold on a second. Not only I get the consolidated report, but I also get these plus signs to the left side, which means if you look at any one of these numbers and you want to find out the source values that created this total, just click on that plus sign. It's an expand symbol. When you click on this plus sign, automatically you get the source values that created this total. It changes to a minus sign. So if I click on the minus sign, it collapses. If you want to get rid of this grouping, then you can use the shortcut Control-8, and it will remove the grouping and keep just the report.